Hey, hey, welcome back to Don't Run With Scissors. I'm Kelly, hopefully your favorite Jeep driving lawyer, mom of twins and three crazy rescue dogs, dogs, um, who likes to craft in her spare time, is training for Iron Man and has gone back to school to learn ASL and to be an interpreter. So, welcome back. If you're new here, cheers and welcome. Don't worry, it's a Vente Caramel Macchiato with extra caramel because I am one of those freaks who likes caramel over chocolate. Mostly because chocolate um, gives me migraines and raises my ICP and then my shunt has to work harder and my head hurts and it's just not worth it. Now, that said, like the dark chocolate sea salt caramels, I love those. Not gonna lie, love them. They're better than Skittles. And those of you who have been around here long enough know, I love me some Skittles and gummy bears. Dude, I didn't get fat eating carrots and celery sticks. Okay. So let's just understand that. Okay. So, if you're new here, welcome to the crazy. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If nothing else, if you hate me, it acts as a twofold. First of all, I get the self-esteem boost that you've subscribed to my channel. Second of all, you get noticed so you can avoid me. <laughs> if you're returning, welcome. Um, those of you who have been around know that these last probably about two weeks have been extremely emotional and difficult. Um, I am not saying that they are still not that way. I am at a point where we're processed. We process some of it. Um, yeah. And I, I think that's, that's about the most that anybody can expect. Um, computer update the teacher some of the teachers were able to go back into the high school the Oxford um, elementary and middle school have since gone back to school the high school is still not in person um, I believe they may be doing zoom classes but I, honestly I don't even think they're they're doing that however my friend's son got a note from his teacher the teacher was able to go back into the school they have found my son's my son. Oh. my friend's son please don't let it ever be like I, I hope nobody I know ever has to go through this again because even with the degree of separation that I have the emotions and it's not over because the news is still, we're still learning more and more um, about things that led up to that day, um, signs that were ignored, things that were missed, things that we need to change, things that we need to change as a state, things that we need to change as a country. Um, what I think it really, um, overall, and I say this every time a tragedy like this happens, we as a country really need to do better regarding mental health. Um, and that's not a political statement as far as I'm concerned. That's a human rights statement. Um, and if you're not for political statements or, or that, then, then this is probably never going to be a channel where you are going to be wanting to listen to me. Um, and I, I, I'm not going to change. I'm not. Um, the only thing I can say is education. The more we know, the better we do, can do. So I'm a big proponent on education and I don't mean sitting in a classroom learning. I mean actual education of people on issues. 
Because if you can sit in a chair and twiddle your thumbs and go, well, it's not really my problem because it's not my community and you can do nothing and be okay with that. then I have a feeling there's nothing that I can tell you. There's nothing that I can show you that's going to change who you are at your core. Because if you can do that, to me, you're a pretty heartless and soulless person. And that's just where I'm at in life right now. And I don't have time for those people. I'm not going to blow smoke up somebody's skirt over human rights issues. And say it's okay to be that way and be in my life. So there are a lot of people that I've realized in the last two weeks. Not a lot, thank God. I shouldn't say that. There have been a couple that I have just been like, you know what? I, I, it, no, it's just not okay. It's just not okay for you to sit over there and make snide comments. Nigel, give me your... Nigel will find the, the trash no matter where it is. It could be like the one speck of, of something somewhere in this house. And that little dog will find it and want to chew on it. Okay. I'll tell, talk to you about Nigel in a minute. But really and truly, I, I have decided that no. Because if I sit here and I... I'm just as culpable for sitting there and allowing somebody to be in my life that finds certain things to not just be basic human rights and dignity that everybody should have. If you don't agree on certain things, I can't. I, I can't be okay with that. We can disagree about certain things. I can, you can, listen, you can disagree with me about whether or not you should have a fake tree or a real tree. And we can still be best buddies. Because really and truly at the end of the day, not a big deal. Okay. We can disagree whether or not jeans over leggings. Jeans over leggings. I'm a leggings kind of girl. Okay. I've had too many incisions on my stomach so that the snaps on jeans, they just don't fit right. They don't feel good. Um, because I, the way I carry my weight, they never fit right in order to get them small enough in the legs. yet still big enough for my mom, <laughs> my, my calves. Um, they, they just don't fit right. They're not comfortable. So I'm a leggings kind of girl or yoga pants. Okay. We can disagree about that kind of stuff. And we can still be best buddies. We can disagree whether you want to drink water or coffee. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Just drink something. Get your water. Some, somehow you need water. Um, and I don't care if it's filtered through the magic beans. Okay. We can disagree whether you want your coffee plain black or with milk or with sugar. We don't care. I don't care. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. But if you don't think access to mental health should be to every single person, not just in this state, but in this country and in this world, we can't be friends. We can't. And if you think that seeking out mental health treatment should carry a stigma, again, we can't be friends. I'm not going to allow you into my bubble. kind of like J.K. Rowling's and her latest statements about trans people. If you side with J.K. Rowling's, I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. But if you support J.K. Rowling's viewpoints, I'm not letting you into my bubble. And I'm not going to side with you. And I'm not going to sit by and let you make statements to me or to my family and friends that support that. Okay, so that was not a soapbox I intended on getting on. And I apologize. Actually, I don't. It probably, it, I, obviously, I needed to get it off my system. So, um, 
still much coming out of the Oxford School shooting. Clearly, it's still rather raw. However, I have processed a lot of it. This to say, the teachers got back into the school. They found my friend's son's backpack, a teacher did, and the laptop. And by some miracle and grace of God, the laptop, according to the teacher, is sitting at the school. And when they allow students to pick things up, it will be there for him. What are you doing, you nut job dog? Um, it does not appear to be broken at all. Um, I don't know if this teacher knowing According to my friend, this teacher is one of those that just goes well above and beyond any expectation that you would have of a teacher. So I don't know if this teacher was able to go get the laptop fixed and has it. I, I don't know. All I know is that the laptop appears to be fine. And um, when that time comes, they are going to be able to go and retrieve it as well as backpack. And for that, I am, I am ever so grateful to however that happened. Um, my friend has decided that, um, the other thing is, is he had already accepted where he's going to college. He had only applied to one college. It was the only college he wanted to go to totally get that. My daughter was the same way. Um, that college has sent him like a, a warm, fuzzy blanket with a handwritten note from his, um, advisor. Um, and I thought that was just one of the, the sweetest things, like letting him know that his college family is already, you know, backing him and behind him and is, you know, thinking about him during this and, and reaching out to support him. And I just thought that was really, really cool. Um, so way to go, Lawrence Tech here in Michigan. Way to go. You guys knocked it out of the park with that one, as far as I'm concerned as a mom. Um... They are Tri Club is organizing. I th we're we're going to host it in the spring. We do know that I, that's what we know. We are not sure if we're going to do just a run where all of us um, are going to go run and donate the funds to the families, or if it's going to be like more towards the summer where we're going to do like a mini triathlon. A short triathlon where the money will all be donated um, but we are planning something those of us in the area too, Michigan runners we are asked to run or walk four miles uh, I'm actually going to do 11 yes 11 but four miles on the 31st in order of the four kids who lost their lives now my plan is to do 11 miles that day um, some of them may be bike miles because there were 11 children shot. Four of them lost their lives. Um, but I want to honor each of those 11. Um, so my plan is to do 11 miles. Like I said, some of them may be bike miles, just depending on how my back is and what my and things are. Um... Let's see, what else? Do, 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 running down my brain, you know, whatever. Okay, so it's finals. We're coming up into finals weeks. Um, Y'all, going back to college is harder than people think. I don't know what I was thinking. It's hard. Um, the little dog is a nut job. Okay, I, other than Maisie, I haven't had a little dog since I was a kid. Um, they have told us he was about a year. And we thought, okay, with the gray in his nose, maybe he was a little bit older. I don't know. He does some things that, like, my big dogs when they were puppies did. But once, and Maisie wasn't like that. Maisie thinks, like, Maisie's chill. Maisie's chill. I mean, she's neat as all get out, and she wants to be like my shadow. But she's chill. Nigel is a nut job. 
like I said, Nigel will find any piece of fuzz or anything. I mean, he, he'll chew. He's got a hole in my couch cover. It's a $20 Amazon couch cover because I have dogs and I, I'm smarter than that. Um, he got a hole in it. I think there was a hole in it and he's just made it worse. But he can stick his little butt through the hole and then he runs between the couch cover and my couch. And then he sticks his whole head back out of the hole that he's made for himself. Like, what? He has toys. It's not like the dog doesn't have toys. Okay. So, yeah. So, we're going back to school. With, like, exams. Me and this teacher, I have to have a talk with my ASL teacher. Um, her and I have had a... At first, I thought we were going well. Her and I have had some... She's made some accusations and I don't particularly care for them. They're not true. And so her and I have kind of butted heads because, and I like, again, I, she's made it very clear. She doesn't like lawyers, especially lawyers who do IEPs. It's a, like, it's one of the, my niches in my firm that I will go in as a parent with parents and I make sure schools follow IEPs. And if you don't, I have no problem taking you up the chain into the state. I really don't. Um, and because I ask questions, she teaches at the Michigan School for the Deaf. I think she teaches kindergarten. She's just little people. I think that's great. I've asked, why is the Michigan School for the Deaf in Flint? And how are they handling the water crisis in Flint? That is still going on. Don't let anybody think that it's that that's over. Because children in Flint still don't have clean water. You know, but we value children in this state. Again, another soapbox. You guys didn't tune in for that. Okay, so. And then after the school shooting, I said, what are the, what are the precautions? What, like, how do you guys teach the kids at the deaf school? To react she can't answer my questions that's alarming to me so her and I butt heads on a few things maybe it's just my personality maybe I need to work on my people skills I don't know okay so I got my order from hillbilly candles if you I know I talk about this because it's a friend's company I ordered the smaller candles. Now there's one size smaller than this, but then they have the bigger mason, full mason jar size. I ordered this because I don't burn a lot of candles. Y'all, I'm going to start because I got my order the other day. They are amazing. And it, like, so here's the funny thing. So I, I have my, oh, so they, before I forget. So they come like this. How cute is that with the little bow, the little like twine? Is it jute? Maybe it's twine. I don't know. It's very cute. And then they come with the cute little labels. This one smells like leather. So if you like leather or want a manly smell, it does. It smells like leather. It is crazy. Um, they smell so good. So I burned pumpkin pie yesterday. It still smells just like pumpkin pie, but I had it sitting next to me all day yesterday burning and I literally mean all day from the time I woke up till the time I went to bed but it smells so good that at one point I had to run to Kohl's to pick up something and um when I got to Kohl's because I it sits it was sitting right here going all day and I've been sitting here working on homework and, and studying and stuff I smell like pumpkin pie I was like my own little strawberry shortcake friend. He was so cool. I'm not opposed to being a strawberry shortcake doll. <laughs> Listen, if I can't be a trophy wife, I might as well be a strawberry shortcake doll. So, okay. So we had basketball game on Saturday with Bean and the band. Um, okay. 
truth be told, other than I know where the three-point line is, I don't really know that much about basketball. What I have discovered is that sitting in the bleachers usually takes my back about two days to recover. Needless to say, the week before Iron Man, we are not sitting in any bleachers. Not going to happen. Okay. So, I have been working away. If you guys follow me on Instagram, again, his Princess Kelly, I have been working away on Pikachu. It's very cute. And when I look at the picture of it, I'm like, wow, it's really cool. It, like the shading, it works out when you stand back from it. You really and truly see like, oh my God. When you're working close up to it, it just looks like blobby color and it's not very exciting. And the problem is, the other thing is, is because a pattern is printed on it, I don't get page finish joy. There's no pages. The closest I can get to a joy, like, woohoo, like a win. Like with, with 99, yes, you, you stitch 99 beer bottles. And they're very detailed, so there's a lot of like, oh, stitch three or four of one color, and then you're changing color when you're doing the labels. But each beer bottle was like a little finish, and it was really cool. I don't get that joy with this. So this project is just like, I was just feeling very... Twice it. And I don't like working on a project when I don't feel love towards it or if I'm angry with the person I'm making it for. I don't sew for people like that either. I don't sew angry. Like, I don't know. There's something, I think it's an old wives tale where your emotions get kind of intertwined with your project. Maybe I'm cuckoo. Maybe it's a Polish thing. I don't know. Okay. So, but I start, so I so I have been working on Pikachu. So in the, so I started to, um, I've been working on, Hey, what am I doing for Whipgo? Hey, what am I do taking my pictures to get my album together? Um, what am I doing for no new starts? Now we all know that last year on no new starts, Kelly failed within six hours of the new year. Yeah, I saw. I don't suck. I just enjoy it. Like there were so many projects that I saw that I wanted to like sell and stuff like that. Like I kind of knew going into the new year, I was going to flank. It was just a matter of how long I did not expect it to be in the first 24 hours. So, um, so I've been, again, I, I've been pulling out things, taking pictures so that I have my starts and my albums ready to go. Um, I did make the change to my whip go board, changing those three rather than being new starts to being, um, oldest whip whip closest to being finished and the whip I least like to work on okay so right now my whip that I least like to work on there's two of them one is the gingerbread house just because I, it's the fabric I know it's the fabric it, it is what it is it will get finished it's not a pro I think it's an adorable project the other thing like right now that I'm just not finding joy in is Pikachu, but whatever. So on Saturday, I just decided, okay, you know what? I just need something different to work on. So I pulled out, out of my pile, But First Coffee by Heartstring Samplery. Janet Jabber is doing it, but she's, I think she's changing coffee to tea. Um... I am using the DMC. I did the conversion for the DMC. If you need the DMC conversion from Weeks Dye Works, let me know. I'll shoot it to you. Just shoot me a message on Instagram at his Princess Kelly, um, and we're all good. Um, so that when you're sitting around smelling your hillbilly candle company candle, which is so yummy, um, you can stitch with me. So I took it to the basketball game and that's what I worked on while sitting in the bleachers. It has been forever since you guys have seen this. Oh, I have strings galore on the bed. Okay, so I, I'm, okay. In the interest of, sometimes I don't remember scissors when I go like, especially if I'm grabbing a bag that I'm not used to having um, and not working on. Um, I don't always grab scissors to put in there. But there's a reason I don't show you guys my back. 
and this one's actually not too bad once I I trim it up actually it's really pretty good for me once I trim up my long strings my long string because <laughs> again I didn't have scissors with me it's actually not bad so I'll show you the back Okay. Usually my backs, when, when you look at my full coverage backs, oh, they're a hot freaking mess. Hot mess. Hot mess. Dipped in glitter. Wrapped with pizza roll. Okay. So here we are. So I finished this motif here, this one here, this one here, added the bird and continued working on this one. This one, some of the counting is off. I'm going to fudge it. Not even going to lie. I'm going to fudge it. Um, so this is whip go square one. I'm allocated to work on it for 10 days. I don't think I'm going to need 10 days to finish it. And that's okay because then I can, um, I'll have more days to work on something else. Um, so I think that is my whip that is closest to being done. Um, Somehow in this bag, I, I still have Sense and Sensibility from the Stitching Book Club. Um, I'm still just on the flower. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly that one's not close, but th this one didn't even make the Whipco board or my 22 and 22. I love that um, No New Starts is doing the focus on 22 and 22. I think that that works much better for my brain. And then the idea is, is that when you finish one, you just plug in another whip. So you can either start something or grab another one off your pile. Okay. So, oops, my string. I'm so bad. Like it's really and truly. Um, that's why I use DMC rather than like all the fancy stuff because I don't feel bad. If I mess up and I end up having to throw away a little wad of floss of DMC, I try not to. I, I try to be very conservative about my floss shoes, but I don't feel bad like if I forget to wind that and then I forget what color, um, or I lose the little lay, like something happens. I don't know. What, I put it in my pile to use, um, like when I just want, like, <sighs> Like when you have a monochromatic piece, like I'm doing the bookshelf from Galliana. And so I'm going to need like colors for just my like books on the shelf. I'll just pull from that, pile, like my pile of leftovers. So that's how I do that. But certainly I'm not like, oh my God. Like, but that's kind of why I don't worry. Like I, I'm fine with DMC. Honestly, I, I'm really okay with it. I have some of the, do I have fancy floss? I don't even know that I own fancy floss. I don't think I own any. Like, I don't think I do. It is what it is. I did buy some dinky dyes for my, my mermaid. My mermaid didn't make my, my whip go board. Well, now that kind of makes me sad. Literally what I did is I pulled out the basket. Well, first I put the ones that I, I are going to be gifts. Like the Marine Corps emblem. And then I just grabbed the first 20 some bags of projects. I listed them. Does that tell you? I see. Again, ADHD. Okay. I did work on Pikachu. We're getting there. We really and truly are. It It's either like, and I have been going back and filling in the little confetti pieces. But like I said, on the backs, y'all, it's a hot mess. Look at this. It's a hot mess. It's a hot mess and I don't feel bad. Um, I don't, I don't. Okay. So so I told you I, I did my whip go. I made those changes. I had that album up. 
I have my 22 and 22. My album is up. Those are my two big focus things. I just, yeah. Next, next semester I have anatomy and physiology, ASL three and four, and a four credit web design class. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see what else. I think that's about it. We won our motion this morning. Um, I don't know if I, I started filming this, which always shows me off. What I should do is when I have to stop in the middle of filming, because I don't know how to smush things together, what I should do is take like a long break so that I totally forget what I did in the first one, because now I don't remember if I told you something and the first one, which you guys will never see because I've already deleted it, or if I told you in this one. But I had the motion this morning about um, divorced parents. Mom wants to give COVID shot to 11-year-old. Dad said no. Had to go to court for court order to get the vaccine. Dad sent in a nasty letter. Told me how I was horrible for advocating for giving an 11 year old the COVID vaccine. How mom is just a controlling B word and how the court shouldn't allow it. Okay. So we get on into court. Referee lets me see that earlier because he's like, look, you have a right to see this. And I was like, okay. Call me several, several lovely late words. So we're on Zoom, which is now projected live on YouTube. Um, I hardly have to say 10 words. My client has, he has to say 10 words. We got our order. He didn't show up. Order doesn't take immediate effect for, because he has 21 days to, to, object um but yeah but i had asked around all my lawyer friends nobody else has had to file a motion not in regards to this so um otherwise i, I don't have my christmas tree up not a single decoration uh, At the risk of sounding rather grinchy, I, I want my house to be cute. I want to do all the cute decorations. My mental capacity right now, pretty much tapped out. And I'm hoping after getting through this week with my finals, that maybe over the weekend I'm scheduled for some some self-care. Um, I'm going in for a massage with my massage therapist to help loosen up some of the muscles, um, the band of muscles that's right below where they did the ablation. Um, I saw my pain management doctor. He totally agrees with my theory. Um, what we think is um, as a result, all of those muscles have tightened up. There's, well, there's really kind of three options. Um, one, neither one of us are in favor of. So we've ruled out doing an epidural. Um, we just, based on everything, it, that's just not possible. It's just not, it, it, it doesn't make sense. Two, we could just leave things the way they are. Again, that doesn't make sense. So we've ruled out two, I guess there's four. Um, leaving me the way I am now does not allow me to live the lifestyle that I would like to again. Least invasive is doing some massage therapy, seeing if we can't um, work things, like spend some time working on those muscles, um, getting my back to calm down um, around the nerves. Um, and then working on core and back strengthening, which my coach has already handed me a bunch of exercises to do. So every other day right now, I am mostly biking and then doing strength exercises. Um, 
and walking. Uh, the other option is to go in there and do some trigger point injections into the muscles to try and get them to relax. We are waiting on that option to make to see if the least invasive will work. Um, but sitting in the bleachers for basketball games is just, it, it usually takes my back about two days to recover um, right now from doing that. And I think in like this last game on Saturday, I went to sit up towards the top but just to lean on the wall, I'm, I'm leaning back and it, I generally stitch at basketball cause I don't, other than where the three point line is again, I don't really understand basketball. Um, so I end up and I sit all day in my chair here trying to work from home, um, where I'm more hunched over rather than sitting straight up and, and doing my thing with back support. So I'm sure that's not helping my cause. So what I'm hoping is after this week, I have finals on we have a big project due on Tuesday, tomorrow night, final on Wednesday, final on Thursday, and then I should be done. As far as I know, I'm finished for the semester. Um, I'm hoping at that point, maybe next weekend in between the massage and then I'm all three of us need haircuts. Um, so I'm going to go see my friend Kelly. Who, cool. she did my hair for my wedding. I've literally known Kelly for like 25 years. More than that, more than that. Probably close to 30 years. Yeah, she's phenomenal. So Kelly is one of those. She's such a, she's such a one wonderful person. She actually, when we had to shave my head. We made that decision after like the third or fourth brain surgery and then just taking a, like a, a chunk out of it and it was just all matted and, and nasty. Um, she came to the hospital and did it with me um, and did it in a way so that we could still donate uh, my hair. So she's been with me through all the funky haircuts. Um, so I get to go see her next Sunday. She's going to trim up my hair and, and do her thing and literally just trim it up like nothing major, but like it's the ends are just fried. Um, just, I, I don't know that I even got a COVID. I don't know that I've had a haircut since before COVID. Um, B needs her hair sort of dematted and it, she needs it trimmed up. The boy definitely needs his hair cut. Ooh. He's looking a little Scooby-Doo crazy, shaggy. Um, so we got that, but I'm hoping at that point too, um, maybe we'll pull, pull in the Christmas bins and, and at least put up the tree. I don't know. I gotta do something. I've got to get in the Christmas spirit right now. I'm just kind of, like, eh. you know, the other thing is, is the kids are older and everything they need, like when they need it, they need it. So I just take care of it. So there's not going to be a whole lot under the tree because there's not like, um, I bought a ham because it was inexpensive, so we're having ham for Christmas dinner, which is, I don't know, kind of weird. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But that's where everything is. I mean, it, it's not like, overall, honestly, I have so much and I am so very grateful. Oh, the other thing, here's the one thing I am looking for and I need help. So I have gone I, I'm getting some counseling some therapy to just process some things and, and what and I think that's a good thing I don't have a problem with that she challenged me I have to get a journal because she gave me a journaling assignment and I have to like thank God like the second week in January thank God for the holidays on this one guys because otherwise but she told me to buy a journal that I or I could make it make a journal that I find pretty and reflect who I am, like my interests, my likes, those sorts of things. I don't know. Like I'm worried if I make it that it's going to be too much stuff and it's going to look all cluttery. But then I'm looking at journals online and like I found one and it was a Jeep with a girl and a single dog. And I'm like, great, I have three. That doesn't fit. Like, am I being too nitpicky? And if I make my own where I have like all, like if I decoupage 
or Mod Podge, like different pictures of things that I like or get stickers or whatever. Is that going to be too cluttery and is that too kiddish? Like, it's not like I'm going to be carrying this journal around. Right? I don't know. So that that's what I like. I'm looking for journal ideas. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah, so there you go. I don't know. Other than that, I don't know that I bought like other than my candles coming in, which was super cool. And again, go check them out. You guys will not be disappointed. They are phenomenal. It smells so good. And they do wax melts. Oh, I did splurge. I bought a wax melter, wax melt thing from Kohl's. I use my, like I had Kohl's coupons, like literally cost me zero. So, um, it looks like an old metal milk jug. Like that goes in the barn. So cute. Um, so eventually when I clear off my menagerie of crap, um, I will have my wa little wax melt jug there. It's super cute. Other than that, I haven't bought DMC. I haven't. So, um, I have to get working on, like I said, Pikachu. And then I have to pull out, I have to do a little, um, sampler for the other person. And I need to get that done. Yikes. This week, because Christmas is coming up. So, oh, sign of the day. If you've made it this far and you'd like to know the sign of the day, um, we'll do Merry Christmas next week only because my brain can't re I forgot to double check it and I don't want to mess it up. So you're actually going to get two. First is sea hands, Santa Claus, Santa Claus. And the second one is book. Book is one of my favorites because I like to read. It's my favorite books so favorite book or like like so you're gonna pinch pinch like books read so there you go next week we'll learn Merry Christmas don't forget Hanukkah's over with but again happy Hanukkah Be before we'll go from there so if there's anything i can do for you let me know just shoot me a message i'll do my best um as always sending you guys lots of love and hugs thank you all for your support um and let me know how i can return that love okay